Grade 8 Math number 10.3a, we're doing transformations. In this unit, we're doing similar figures, and we're going to combine transformations with dilations. There's going to be a connection between transformations and similar figures. It's going to be a sequence of translations, slides, reflections, flips, rotations, turns, and possibly even dilations, you know, enlargements and reductions. They'll transform one figure into another. Cartoon animators need to do transformations to create cartoons. Architects, engineers, photographers, painters, clothing designers, astronomers, physicists, pilots, filmmakers, chefs. Oh, almost every occupation deals with transformations and dilations. These jobs need visual and spatial intelligence for mapping imagination and spatial awareness. Now, let's take sewing, for example, okay? We're going to do a little word problem thing with a video game, but let's take a quick look at sewing. Now, here's a Halloween costume for a child, and it's a dragon or a dinosaur. And when you open it up, you know, there's a pattern inside with tissue paper. It tells you on the back how many yards of fabric you need or how many zippers you need or the lining. And this is the instructions that comes inside all folded up. And if you can see here, it tells you how to lay the pattern out onto the fabric, okay? And it tells you that the fabric is folded in half. There's a fold right here, and then this is the, the opening like this. So when you cut out this piece, you're cutting out two of them. See that? And you're cutting out two of these because this fabric is folded in half, sort of like this paper is, see? So here's all the pattern pieces. Well, when you look at the hood piece, the hood piece, you're going to cut two of them. And look, isn't that a reflection? With the line of reflection coming down the middle? You sew these two parts of the hood together, and it tells you, see the string? You sew them together right around here, and what happens is you make the hood. See? There's a seam going all the way down through here, and then they lay this bumpy part in here, see, for the dragon spikes. And that's where the seam is. By sewing these two halves of the hood together, you get the whole hood, see? So I wanted to show you that. So now what we're going to talk about is designing a video game. So let me remove these real quick. And Dave is designing a video game and needs to do a sequence of transformations to draw the buildings of the village. He needs to apply the translations, reflections, rotations, and dilations to a rectangle to do this. So remember, each new transformation is done only by using the X and Y coordinates of the previous image, not the original image. So if the original image is this blue one, WXYZ, coming around here, WXYZ, what we need to do is mark down the coordinates for the pre-image, and then it's going to give us a list of what we're supposed to do. So for the first image, it's going to be a pink one. It wants us to do, here's the mathematical notation for what they want us to do. X and Y is going to have X plus 7 and Y minus 2. So for every single XY value for point W, point X, point Y, point Z, we're going to apply the plus 7 to the x and a minus 2 to the y values. So plus 7 to a negative 6 is going to be a 1. It's going to bring us above the 0 line to a 1. And 8 take away 2 is going to be a 6. See? So we do the x plus 7, y minus 2 to every single one of these. We're doing a translation. So what's happening is w, x, y, z rectangle is going to translate and slide across this y-axis to this point. See that? And we're going to get our new WXYZ and it's going to be on this side of the y-axis. See that? So these are the points. Now for B it just wants us to do a negative Y. The X values are going to stay the same but look at Y is a negative Y. Now do you remember what happens when we have a negative Y? Do you remember we've got our friend, the invisible one, hiding in here? Well, that means we need to multiply all the y values by a negative 1. So they're all going to be multiplied by a negative 1. Okay? Just the y. 
So what we do is we take all the x values, 1, 5, 5, and 1, and drop them down into the new place. See? For the new green rectangle. Because the x values aren't going to change. So we're just going to drop down whatever the pink x values were. Then we're going to take the pink y values and multiply them by negative 1. So 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. 4 is negative 4. 4 is negative 4. Now we've got our new green rectangle. But it is a reflection of the pink one. So how are we going to label it? Well, the pink one had W, X, Y, Z, and because this is a reflection, it flipped over, didn't it? It went like this. So whatever was on the top, W and X, is now on the bottom, W and X. Whatever was on the bottom, Z, Y, is now on the top, Z, Y, because it flipped, see? So now that is the green image for B, the reflection, okay? Now it wants to do a rotation 90 degree clockwise around the origin, around the center, zero, zero. Well, what's the rule? Do you remember our rule from a few videos ago? When you do a rotation of 90, degree clo 90 degrees clockwise around the origin, we multiply x by a negative 1 and then switch the values for x and y. So we're going to multiply x by negative 1. So we look at all the x values, 1, 5, 5, and 1. We're going to multiply them by negative 1, and we're going to switch the x and y values. So now all the negative 1s that we multiplied, 1 times negative 1, it's now in the y's place. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 in the y's place. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 in the y's place, and the 1x is now a negative 1 in the y place because we switched x and y. And then we just drop down whatever the old y values were from the green one into the new x place. See? So we got negative 6, negative 6, negative 4, and negative 4 because they switched. So now we can plot our new brown one. See? Because we went from the green to the brown one. So now because it rotated 90 degrees, it was here, and it rotated and went up like this. It was one unit away from the x from the y-axis, now it's one unit away from the x-axis. It was one, two, three, four units down from the x-axis, and when it rotated, it's now one, two, three, four units from the y-axis. It just went like that, see? So the w and the z are now on top, and the x and the y are now on the bottom like that, because that's how the points turned. See that? Now it wants us to do another translation. This is going to be the orange one. It wants us to translate x plus 5 and y plus 3. So we take all the x values from the brown one and we add 5 to it. We take all the y values from the brown one and add 3 to it, and we get these new coordinates. So now, by moving our rectangle from this spot, it's going to translate up so that it's right around the origin. That's where the values are going to come. It's going to be completely around the origin right here, okay? The very next thing it wants to do is a dilation because it's saying for the x and y in the mathematical notation that it's going to be 3 times x and 3 times y. So we know that's a dilation, enlargement, isn't it? And the k value is 3. That's the scale factor, okay? So every single xy value from the orange one is going to have to be multiplied by 3. And we do. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. 2 times negative 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 2 is negative 6. And we get 3 and 6. And we get 3 and negative 6. They're all multiplied by 3. What happens is we get the orange one is going to grow 3 times bigger and it's going to have new points, and when we connect the lines, we're going to see the orange one expanded three times bigger and became this big blue one, see? And that's our new rectangle. So we were able to do all these different transformations and dilations to this rectangle, and it was originally up here in the second quadrant, right? And now look at 
It's like we've created an entire village and a big, huge main building, right? So see how you could do that if you were designing a game? All the rectangles except E, that's the big blue one, have the same size. Because remember, E was a dilation enlargement that multiplied by 3. So every single rectangle is the same size except for the dark blue one, the big one. They all have the same shape and angle measures. They're all rectangles. They all have 90 degree interior angles, right? And A and B have the same orientation. Here's the pre-image. Here's A, the pink one, and B, the green one. They've got the same orientation as the pre-image. See that? And C, D, and E have different orientation than the pre-image because it rotated. See that? So then C, this one right here, has a different orientation than the other ones. And D is the orange one right here. It just translated from the rotation. And this one, because it was an expansion and enlargement, it's got the same orientation. So C, D, and E all have the same orientation. See that? But the pre-image in A and B are the same as each other because that was before the rotation. Now, look at E, this big navy blue rectangle that orange grew into. See this big, huge... The minute that there's a dilation, whether a reduction or an enlargement, the new image will not be congruent to the pre-image anymore or the previous image because it's going to be larger or smaller. No more congruency. That's the minute the size changed, that, ch that changed everything. It wasn't congruent anymore, okay? All right, we're going to continue talking about uh, these similar figures, and that's exactly what the next video is going to be called. It's going to be called Similar Figures, and that's going to be 10.3b. I hope this helped. I hope seeing the dragon pattern and the hood of it helped so that you could see the reflection. Take a look at your clothes. Is one side of your shirt a reflection of the other side of your shirt? Is one sleeve a reflection of the other sleeve? How about one pant leg? How about one shoe? Is it a reflection of the other shoe? So hopefully that'll help and put things into perspective for you. And I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. Bye.